everyone welcome to my youtube channel where i will teach you how you can grow your business online how to register your business or company in nigeria how to run quality advert on youtube facebook and instagram and also how you can create an eye-catching content for your business by just using your smartphone if you are new to our youtube channel kindly click on the subscription button below and smash the notification bell so that you will be part of our great youtube community i am chris i am proverb digital keep watching before we walk down the aisle, i just want to let you hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel my name is chris from proverb digital in this video we're going to be looking at how you can apply for name reservation for an incorporated trustee when you hear the word incorporated trustee you are simply referring to an ngo we are simply referring to a church an association a religious body a club and so on and so forth so all of these fall under the class of an incorporated trustees so our focus here in this video is to teach you how you can apply for name reservation before you can proceed to the final registration after uh, the proposed name might have been approved by the commission which is CAC so please and please if this is your first time of visiting my youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button below and like this video also smash the notification bell so that you will get updated whenever we release great content like this in the future so to apply for name reservation all you just have to do is for you to log into the dashboard when you log into your dashboard then over to where you will see the new name reservation click on it then you scroll down a little bit under the company type you have to select incorporated trustee then specific type should be incorporated trustee then scroll down a little bit on a proposed name this way you have to type in the name you intend to apply for name reservation so for the sake of this video we're gonna be looking at how to register an NGO uh, a foundation and we're gonna give it a name save the child let's get the name save the child uh, save the child foundation foundation then the other option option two let's give it a name um also save the child save the child foundation Yeah, save the uh, save the child foundation okay and number three i can just change it to um, change it to chris chris foundation so that would be my proposed uh name then we are done typing in your proposed names then under the reason for availability search you have to type you have to select sorry you have to select uh, new incorporation or registration so notes uh, before you commence a uh, name reservation you need to search for the availability of the name you intend to uh, register so it's very important I won't cover it again because I've already talked about that in my previous video so you can always check out my other videos and uh, learn how to, you can apply how you can search for the availability of name you intend to register so we are done imputing uh, the proposed names then you click on apply for reservation code good then you scroll down a little bit as you can see there are about uh, seven stages now the first one is the incorporated trustee details where you have to impute all the necessary information regarding the organization you intend to register then we are done with that then you move to the second stage which is the constitution this is where you have to impute relevant information that make up or that bind the association together or the organization together then the third stage which is the aims and objective is where you have to type in the aims and objective of 
the organization the number four is the trustee where it will list out uh, the maximum and minimum number of trustees and also we have to impute the details of the trustees of the organization then number five which is the document upload where you have to upload the document then the sixth is for you to take a preview the number seven you have to make payments for the name reservation so let's start with the first one which is incorporated trustees details okay so under classification of association classification one uh, we are going into a, a registration of an NGO we call it the found we call it a save the child foundation and we scroll down here gradually to a category that suits foundation I will click on foundation base now classification of the association classification 2 you have to select foundation base so do like so under description of the association classification this way you have to type in detail of the uh, registration you are about to do so our focus is a foundation we already know a foundation is like a charity organization so we'll type uh, charity which is a charity organization organization okay good then scroll down a little bit you have to impute uh, email of the foundation business, business. Type in the email address. Oh, good. The registered office of the address. So, since we would like to know the address of the organization that you intend to register, let's give it. So good we are done with the first stage and now when we click on save and continue we are now directed to the second stage which is the constitution section. So under the constitution section we are going to start with the first. Now since we would like to know the minimum number of trustees we will select uh, 2 as the minimum. Minimum number of trustees 2 then the maximum we are going to put 5 good the tenor so the tenor in office uh, gonna give it four years four years so custodian of common seal usually the secretary for the secretary governing body the, the governing body of the foundation will put a board of trustees board of Trustees. Okay. Board of Trustees. Application of funds. At this point, since we would like to know uh, what, since we would like to know the fund generated by the organization, what will it be used for? Actually, based on our objective, is to uh, help the, help the child. So, looking at scholarship offers. This is scholarship. Scholar scholarship opportunity. So you can. Keep on typing here, uh, imputing uh, the whole information. Uh, we'll say community development and so on and so forth. So I don't have time to start imputing all those information. You can do all of that based on the objective of the organization you intend to register for. Then we are done imputing information concerning the application of funds then you move to keeping up account uh, gonna type number one
odd books of account of account will be maintained maintained by the treasurer and financial secretary number two bank account will be opened in any of the commercial banks banks in Nigeria so that is all about keeping accounts uh, let's scroll up a little bit and see if there's anything that we are missing I think we are good so we are done imputing necessary informations when you are done imputing necessary information, you have to click on save and continue. Then you will now be directed to the third stage. So we have been directed to the third stage, which is the objective, aims and objectives of the organization. So you start by clicking on the add aims and objective. You type in the first objective here. Now the objective of this um, artificial NGO that we're trying to register is number one to provide free educational opportunities to selected beneficiaries fisheries so you are done imputing the first aims and objective you click on add automatically to be uploaded then you click on add aims to add the second objective so that's how you keep on adding more objectives to the, the system so let's put this to provide community development services all for now so this is just uh, a domain registration I'm trying to do so you can ensure you make your work very neat and smart when you are done imp uh, imputing your aims and objectives then you click on save and continue okay, scroll down a little bit under the trustees which fall under the fourth section this way you have to add all your trustees so start with So if the trustee 
that you have imputed his uh, details is also the secretary of the organization you're gonna click on this checkbox right now if the trustee is none of the above then you're gonna leave it blank you get the point and also if the details you have imputed above is not a trustee but just a secretary of the organization you're gonna check out this box so you need to take note of this is very very important this, uh, you gotta use this then you gotta type in this then you click on add trustee automatically the details of the trustee that you have uploaded that you have typed in will be uploaded successfully so that is how it is right so we have successfully added a trustee now if you want to add more trustee you click you still go up and uh, click on add trustee and impute information that's how you can keep on adding more and more trustees so that's all for now then you click on save and continue now we have been directed to the fifth stage which is document upload yeah actually the document to be uploaded for name reservation is optional as you can see on the laptop on my laptop screen is showing optional so there is no um, actual document or a required document that you are to upload where you need to upload document is at the final stage and uh, relevant information about the document to be uploaded will be shared to you when you join a premium master class so in case you have interest and you really want to learn more about CSU registration feel free to reach out to us uh, through our contact details at the description of this video so that you can join our Premium master class where you will learn more about Different types of registration So we are done with this part then you click on save and continue Then at the sixth stage you have to review all Information that you have imputed and ensure that they are correct so I'll go through it, my work gradually and ensure that every information is imputed are okay. Then when you are satisfied with it, then you click on save and continue. So at this juncture, this way you are to make payment for your name reservation. As soon as you click on remitter, you will now be taken to the remitter uh, web page. Then you make your payments through your card or any other channel that is more convenient for you as soon as you make your payment automatically your application will be submitted to uh, CAC for them to review and when they are sat satisfied with your uh, with the proposed name then they will approve it for you then when they approve it you can now commence the registration proper so it's very very simple like ABC all you just have to do is for you to pay close attention to all that I have showed you and ensure that you do not uh, make any mistake and again and again please and please if you like this video kindly hit on the like button and also try to subscribe to our youtube channel it will not cost you anything to hit the subscription button it is completely free just do us a favor by hitting the subscribe button i think that will be all for now thank you